Question number 31. If sine theta is equal to 12 over 13, find the value of 1 plus cos theta. If we have a right angle triangle this way and we have a theta here sine theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse you recall so katoa Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So sine theta is the opposite is here, which is 12, and the hypotenuse is 13. So we do not know the adjacent. Okay, let's just term it x. Now, let's look for the value of x. By Pythagoras, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the opposite plus the square of the adjacent. That is to say, here is the adjacent now. Adjust, the square of the adjacent is equal to the square of the hypotenuse minus the square of the opposite. So we're going to have square of the hypotenuse, that is 13 square minus the opposite. Is 12 square is going to be the square of this is 169 minus the square of 12 is 144 and 169 minus 144 is uh, 25 so it means x which is the adjacent square is equal to 25 to get the value of x now we Find the square root of both sides. So we have square root of x square and square root of 25. And this will make x to be what? 25. The square root of 25 is 5. Now the question we find the value of 1 plus cos theta so we have 1 plus cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse the adjacent is 5 so we have 5 over the hypotenuse is 13 this is quite correct so we make this over 1 and the LCM of 1 and 13 is simply 13. So we have 13. 13 divided by 1 is 13. And 13 times 1 is 13. Plus 13 divided by 13 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. So we are going to have 13 plus 5, which will be equal to 18 over 13. 
Therefore, the correct option is, I think it should be D. That should be a mistake from where we copied this from. So it should be D. Thanks for watching Mass Guru. We will always be there for you.